is played in its natural state. Because it hasn't been processed and is impure, it's complex. And when you think of a wild system, it's always more complex than the not wild system. And it has the natural diversity of nature embedded in it. And so you can bring that into your house. You can surround yourself in that. When you're using a wild clay and natural pigments, you get a variation of shades and tints because there's a lot going on in that medium. That's clay. And here's the seam right here. There's all kinds of different clays. You can tell it's clay because it's plastic. You roll it. So it's got a lot of rocks in it. It's going to have organic matter. And you make a slurry and the organics rise to the top. You pour those off and the rocks and large sand float to the bottom. And the cream on top is what you harvest. And you uh, get it wet and it's got that kind of slippery feel to it. If you can bend it like that. You know you've got, you've got usable clay. And when you variegate it, when you uh, soak it in water, you can separate out the sands and concentrate the clays and kind of purify the mix that way. But the hard part is getting to it. It's definitely there. That's the beauty of levigated clay, of clay from a backyard, is you get the grits, you get all the way down to clay and fine silks. Hey. It's been applied with a brush, so it's uneven and maybe a little thicker here, a little thinner there. And also the way you apply it with brushes creates variation and movement in the wall. So you have something that feels much more alive, plays with light better, it's more interactive with light. And you get uh, different tones and different shades, so when you step back at the end, you have a wall with lots of different variation. It looks a little bit like what we think of as old Italian plaster, but it's clay. One of the things also about clay is it's breathable. When the room is moist, it'll absorb moisture. When it's dry, it'll release moisture back out. A lot of modern manufacturing, the wall is sealed to protect the insulation inside. But you still have a breathable membrane within your space that is modulating the climate, so to speak. So I see clay paint working with native raw clay as something that uh, rejuvenates the craft, makes us masters of a material rather than just applicators of a product. It's a living finish because it's changing all the time. It comes from something that's truly alive, which is wild clay.